Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we are looking at Laguna Pink, I mean Laguna Blue. So it is quite stark for Laguna this time around. She is a different person. Let's be 100% real. Now, I have gotten used to her being pink. Um, She used to be a bluish gray color, but I kind of like the pink more now. Like it's grown on me. Do I want to have a blue Laguna in this form? Yes. And I may try making that happen. We'll see. But anyways, before I start this, I want to give a huge shout out to Mattel. Thank you so much for sending me Laguna along with the other dolls. I do now have two, so I have an in and out box collection going for my basics. So thank you. These dolls retail for $24.99 and they've been available since the 1st of October. You can find them in stores or online. It's probably easier to find them online at the moment, but I know a lot of people want to get them in stores to have kind of that like moment of bonding with the doll and also picking the face because one of Laguna's issues is the scales. They kind of aren't always printed properly. So you kind of want to just make sure you get one that's good. This one's is all right. We'll see once I get her out because her head's kind of looking this way to look forward. But anyways, guys, let me just roll my intro real quickly and we can get on to Laguna Pink. No. Okay, guys, so it is Laguna's turn. We have finally gotten to her. I'm actually really excited to get this doll open. When I was at the Mattel event and I held her, she just felt right. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about you guys, but for me, holding dolls or holding my phone is just kind of therapeutic to me. Like, I can't not be doing one or the other. So, honestly, she's going to be a doll I'm going to hold a lot. And I hope her hair is good. Because <laughs> right now, it looks a little fried, as you can see. But this is Laguna's first doll from the reboot. As I mentioned, she is a, she's a different fish. And she is pink now. She also has her signature her hair color but there's some new colors added to it of course and she has a more brighter fashion aesthetic this time around and she also has these like really really cool legs that are translucent and it kind of fade into her normal skin but i am very worried about those because i've heard these chip very easily so i'm going to definitely have to seal her with some msc and we'll do that in my hair video i'm very excited to finally own laguna and i'm very excited to get her out so let's look at her box so we can do that so just like the other g3 dolls she comes in this box that is fully made of plastic and then it's just a cardboard backing i kind of prefer it to be more cardboard and less plastic but you know we'll never know they might fix it in the future but the background for laguna is the same colors as friends it's just a bunch of colors kind of like splodging into each other i love how i use that word splodging and on this side it's black and it says monster high and it also has a really neat shift and then in the corner you can see the new art style and laguna is in the center along with claudine and frankie and it says laguna blue neptuna has returned for this reboot but they look a lot different they're yeah they don't look as ferocious as they used to which is funny because because now Laguna is like kind of a piranha in a way. So I kind of wish that they gave her like some little white teeth to kind of emulate that. If I was good at painting, I would definitely would do it. But yes, Neptuna is back. And then on this side, you can see all the accessories she comes with and the bathing suit, which is her second outfit. On the side, you can see all of Laguna's little icons. We have a heart with scales, her glasses, a seahorse, a foam, a pearl, a bottle with a skeleton of a seahorse and her shoe. And on this side, we have the Monster High logo. And on the back of the box, as you can see, we have Laguna in a different outfit in the prototype for Laguna, she was actually wearing this exact outfit. I'm not the biggest fan of this outfit and I actually prefer the outfit they gave her on the doll. And it also seems like she was supposed to have blue hands. And I love how Neptuna is just floating. They both don't need water. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. And you can see all of the other ghouls just sitting on the stairs. And then on the bottom, it says Laguna Blue. Her monster type is a splash-tastic sea monster. Her monster must-haves are a shell phone and kelp chris. And her monster pet is Neptuna. And it says it in three different languages below. And there is the Monster High website. Now, of course, I got my at Macy's and I can't really get this off without it like etching the plastic so I'm just probably going to show you once I lift this off but speaking of the unboxing process it is now time to do that for Miss Laguna Pink and I'm so excited like I really want to hold this doll like so bad so without further ado let's get it started shall we And guys, she is out of the box. She's looking like a mess at the moment, but that's why we do hair videos on this channel. Hold up, I hated that lighting. Much better. Anyways, guys, Laguna is now out of the box and he is actually so cute out of the box. If you ignore the hair being a mess, I really love her. But guys, before I get into Laguna, I'm going to show you everything she came with. First things first, her eye coffin is in the shape of a shell and it is pink. All the details on the shell are in a spider web kind of vibe, a little star. And honestly, I think she has the clearest screen out of all the dolls I've opened. 
open so far and actually really see the apps. Next, she has a bag of kelp chips. It's a green bag that has a decal on it that says kelp chips, obviously. And even the bag has designs and a nutrition fact list. I love these little food accessories. So Laguna is a Visco girl. I mean, it's kind of outdated. I still use these kind of water bottles, so. But she has a blue hydro flask that has a bunch of studs on it and the lid is black and it has a little mermaid or fish tail. It does open, of course, just like all drinks in G3. Next, she comes with her little goldfish and you can see the original Neptuna is right there along with the little crackers themselves. I think this is super cute. It's basically a white tin that looks a milk carton in a way. And on this side, we have all of the details and this side is empty. Next is Laguna's glasses. They're this blue transparent plastic and they have little scales and fins on the side. And I'm not sure if these are a reuse, a brand new mold, but let me know if you know down below. Laguna is pretty much the only doll that actually came with a proper second outfit. So she actually comes with a bathing suit, which is very fitting for Laguna. So Laguna's bathing suit has a scale pattern on it. It is a green color, some black added in as well. There is a little ruffling around the leg. That is a coral color. It's also up here. And it also has a ribbon right there to tie around her neck. And it does Velcro in the back. And it is made of a slightly stretchy material. It's kind of comparable to that Laguna right over there. Like it gives me the same vibe. For her bag, it is this huge shell. And it almost reminds me of her phone case because it has that spider webbing on the shell itself. And it's also dripping on the bottom. It is a hot pink color. The straps are a green and they have some texture to them as well. And the bag does open so you could store her phone, her kelp chips and all that stuff. Yeah, super cute. Laguna's last accessory is her pet Neptuna. Yes, Neptuna has returned and they look a lot different than their original. I of course will be doing a comparison at the end, but this time around Neptuna looks like a really nice fish instead of a piranha. They have like almost like this little baby face. Oh, I don't know how I feel about it. I do actually like this mold a lot more than Neptuna's original mold, but I do kind of wish that they did the fishbowl purse again for Neptuna because it just makes sense. There's some clear transparent fins along with the tail and Neptuna will stand on their own, which is really cool. Okay guys, so now it is time to look at Laguna. She does not come with a doll stand. No G3 dolls so far have come with stands. They kind of don't do that anymore. I definitely would pay extra if they would add a stand, keep all the accessories and pieces that we get with these dolls. I feel like it's just nice to have a doll stand. You know what I'm saying? Now I am quite nervous to be holding Laguna right now because Laguna has been having a lot of issues with her legs. Now, just like Frankie and Torlight, any painted bit on the body is not being properly sealed. I've noticed people can literally rub it off by just doing this. They don't even have to scratch at it. So I'm even afraid to touch like upper here. I am definitely going to need to spray it down with some Mr. Super Clear. I heard that has helping it a lot, but I'm just holding her at her feet at the moment, which I would rather be doing right here. And I'm trying to keep her legs from touching because I don't want any big mark because it is airbrushed to look like it is fading from pink to this blue color. So in future releases, Mattel, if you're watching this, please just seal the paint on any of these dolls a little better so it doesn't chip. I don't think anyone should be having to seal these, but yeah, just for longevity of the product to be nice. So let me just hold it like that. With that out of the way, let's get into Laguna. So as you guys know, Laguna this time around is pink. I actually really love it. I think it looks really, really good. And I'm not mad about the pink change to Laguna. A lot of people still do miss how Laguna looked prior, but I'm I'm here for this. And her ears are actually really cute. They look like fins. Laguna also has little face scales that are in a kind of green color. And that is kind of something you have to watch out for in the store if you want them to be a little bit centered. She also has her little green eyebrows. She has brown eyes this time around and some blue freckles along her nose and cheek. And she has a pink lipstick on. As for her eye makeup, it is pretty much just this very metallic white color. It's actually really, really pretty. Now for Laguna's hair, it is completely saran. It is a kind of yellow blonde color mixed in with these little blue streaks and purple streaks. It's in a high ponytail. The purple and the blue are pulled to the sides and rubber bands. And she has two hair clips on both sides. They look like little pearls, but also kind of like egg cartons in a way. <laughs> I have not been able to see them normally since I noticed that. And those just clip in and out. She also has a black sea urchin scrunchie on. As for her earrings, she has a blue kind of pearl in this ear and she has a fish bone in the other ear. Now, if we move on to Laguna's fashion, she is wearing what looks to be like a shell necklace that is in a white plastic and her outfit is two pieces. So you have a hoodie and you have a pair of biker shorts. So her hoodie is actually really nice. I think this hoodie is a hundred times better than the show hoodie. I think that one was just too simple. And this one kind of ties back a little bit to the original Laguna doll. I actually really love the color scheme they chose for it too. The pinks really look good with the black. They have a darker pink in the middle and it has a dead seahorse skeleton in the center and it is a decal with some bubbles. And then the sleeves are made of a very thick pink 
fishnet and the cuffs are black. It also has some ribbon right here to go along for more edit detail. And she does have a hoodie. It is just fastened right now in with her belt. But once I undo it, it is a fish scale pattern. It's blue and black and it has little fish ears. And just like her original hoodie, it's like almost to a T. It's just different prints, obviously. I'm gonna see what it looks like on her real quickly. And here is what the hoodie looks like on her. It's a little dorky, but I think it's super cute that they even added the hoodie. And I like how it ties back to her original doll a lot. Below the hoodie is a little fanny pack that is made of the blue color and it looks like a piranha and it's about to bite and his white teeth that are painted in and the straps are gale pattern. We move down to her high-waisted biker shorts and they're a tie-dye material that feels like spandexy or polyester. It has some blue ruffles on the side again to give off that kind of thin vibe and they're actually really cute. Everything of course velcros in the back. If you move down to Laguna's legs as I mentioned earlier she has a gradient from a pink skin to this really cool kind of cloudy matte transparent blue legs to look like water. She has her normal fins and they do come off but again if you're going to take these off it's definitely going to scratch and they're this really glossy dark blue translucent plastic and as for her shoes she's wearing these cute little wedge sandals that are blue on the bottom it has some kind of finish to it and it looks really pretty in person and the straps are a hot pink color and they say monster in black cross one there's also some little fin details on them to almost look like wings in a way and it looks like she's actually stepping on water now one thing to notice is this every laguna doll seems to have this kind of that area where she's gonna bend a lot so i think they did that just so no chipping would happen but again, if they just steal the legs a lot better, this wouldn't have to happen. But yeah, that's pretty much all of Laguna. Now, let me show you her articulation in case it's your first time watching a G3 Monster High video from me. They can move at their head, shoulder, their elbow, their wrist. They have a new motion at the chest. You can sit still. And I'm very afraid to do this, but she has knee articulation. <laughs> so these dolls have one extra added articulation point than the original Monster High dolls. And I really do love it. It adds some weight to them, I've noticed. And I really like that. And something I also want to notice too is she has fins on her arms too. They're just not painted and they're being covered by her hoodie at the moment and they did not give her the web fingers that her original doll had i kind of prefer it that way because those were also painted back in the day and they usually chipped super fast okay guys but now that we pretty much looked at laguna i am now going to get out her original counterpart and we can do some comparisons okay guys so here is g1 laguna compared to her new counterpart for g3 as you can see they look 100 percent different so there's a lot to go over firstly the hair color is completely different i believe they changed to this hair color in g2 i kind of prefer it a little more than this because this is kind of more of like a normal blonde and this kind of just fits like the kind of monstery feel. Both of them do have saran and iconically both of their hair came just like this in the packaging. It's a little full circle moment. As you can see the eyes are brown here and they're green here. Obviously she has scales while she does not. As for the fashion sense you could kind of see it is pretty similar. She has a hoodie, she has a hoodie, has shorts and she has shorts. The only thing different is she's not wearing her bathing suit underneath her outfit but they did give it to her so kind of the same vibe. They both do have necklaces and they both have earrings. She actually has more hair accessories than G1 Laguna and the shoes are kind of similar too like they're both sandals in a way and they're both painted pretty well and as you can see the fins are different too. My Laguna is kind of a mess. I curled her hair years ago but it's kind of coming undone but now let's compare Neptuna to Neptuna. So as you can see both Neptunas are pretty much the same coloring. This one is just a little darker than this one. They are both fishes. This one looks like it'd be a little more deadly and would actually eat this fish up even though it's bigger than them. <laughs> but yeah they're completely different molds. They have different eyes and everything so I want to know your thoughts down below who's your favorite Neptuna. I feel like this one fits the vibe even in G3 because Laguna's kind of more of a piranha now so this actually kind of fits into it. Anyways guys let me get Laguna posed and we can end off her review. Okay guys so Laguna is now on her stand and she's holding her phone a little weird. Anyways guys that wraps up my Laguna blue review but I'm gonna call her Laguna pink from now on. I really love this doll. I like how she feels in my hands like she feels really like a really solid doll. Like I love the fit. I actually really adore this hoodie. Can't wait to wash her hair and maybe curl it. I don't know. We'll see if I like it straight or not. But yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts on Laguna down below. Do you like her? Have you gotten her yet? I feel like this is a pretty good change. Obviously, she's got the most drastic change out of the bunch. And I think Frankie's is probably the second. But I honestly think this is a really good redesign. I like the little ponytail. I think it's super cute. And I'm actually really excited to get more Laguna dolls. I am debating on removing the skill on my Laguna. So we'll see if I do that. But I don't know if I will. I also do need to seal her legs. Because as I mentioned, I don't want these chipping on me. If I have any 
cons, it would be just Mattel, please start sealing the paint on these dolls' bodies a little better because I don't want my Frankie stitches to rub off or Laguna's leg to chip off because it kind of looks bad, especially because, you know, if you put clothes on these dolls, they are definitely going to rub against them and chip that way too. And it just is better for the doll's longevity in general. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts on Laguna down below. But if this is your first time joining me, hi, my name is Jay and I do doll stuff, duh. And I'd love you to join the channel. And if you aren't following me on Instagram or on TikTok, it's also at Zombie Corn. And guys, I will see you in my next video. But for now, bye.